Welcome back to another Civilization 6 game here. This time we're playing as the Dutch. But this one, we're going to have a lot of fun with this episode, or this series here. That's what this is going to be. We're going to play as a Dutch. We're going to play on a map I've never played before. Splintered Fractal? <laughs> it, sounds, it sounds weird, and it, it, this sounds really weird to me. Here of all the game random seeds and stuff like that. So what we're going to do with this series is we're going to have a shorter episodes, 10-15 minutes. And then, but I'm going to re release them probably once a week. So therefore, I'll have time to have your input between episodes of what we should do. You know, think, hey, you should do this, blah, blah, blah. Just let me know in the comments and let's have some fun. No My goodness, there's something about her eyes that are just, I guess, like the light shining on it weirdly or something. Okay, this is the time we get to see. This is, is this the best part of the game? I don't know. When you first uncover the map. Okay. Wow, grapes. Fish, you might notice something a little bit different. We're playing with the Civilization skin, and we're also playing with a diversified vegetation mod that makes, look at these forests. There's a bunch of different vegetation around here. Hmm, so what are we going to do with this start? I think we're going to go up right on the coast. Okay, I mean, this could be bad. We can always get Liang and get some fisheries everywhere, and that'll be really good. But now we got the nice sailing boost. Yeah, let's do this. We're going to go for a builder, and then we'll go for animal husbandry. That'll give us two gold on each one of these tiles, and these tiles will be pretty good in an early game. I already got barbarians. I saw it come. Okay, there's the encampment. We should be able to get in the way of this stupid scout. Let's get over here. Oh, it's a mountain, a volcano. Hmm. We got to wait one turn. We don't want to go in the red too much. Don't move. What? No way. How did that happen? You're not even next to the freaking encampment. We have to run away. We have to run away. Can our warrior survive? I am not sure if it actually will. Let's go for sailing next. Okay, good. They didn't attack. Yes. I guess they're busy spawning more units. So, <laughs> oh, we got that coming. Yep, there's a slinger. This stuff, it's its definitely on. It's on. Oh, they got flooded. Did that hurt them? Did that hurt them? Okay, obviously got king, and we need barbarian strength. How did it not hurt them? Second camp already done in our capital. Man, okay, we should probably go for a settler. Actually, yeah. Yeah, we should probably go for our settler. And let's move these down here. Let's take care of this barbarian encampment. Okay, that hurt a little. Let's definitely move this unit here to prevent this slinger from coming to the right and killing our, our number one warrior in the world. This one, we can go here and we can attack this one. I think it'll still, it'll still live. I'm actually gonna buy this tile right here and we're gonna put a fishing boat on it right away because this will give us, now we have two faith return so we'll get religious settlements, hopefully even faster. Man, this game is settling up Look at this, four population already in turn 23, it's just crazy. Okay, this slinger is definitely moving away. Let's clear this encampment, get the nice air score. Military tradition boost, even better. I think I have something decently planned over for our second city. Oh no, another scout. If we place the city center right here, we can place the aqueduct right, right to the right of it. And then we can have two industrial zones here from our capital and whatever the name of this city is. Let's see what it's called. Yurek? Yurtek? <laughs> That's definitely not how you say it. But then we'll have a dam to the north. It is like a little triangle right here, or a diamond. That's what we would call it. Let's change our policies up. Let's go for maritime industries to get our galleys out even faster. And then we're going to go over to urban planning. Right now, we're only getting, we're getting zero per turn. That's probably because, yeah, we're working this tile. Let's go to the right, get this one faith return for, what, two more turns? And then we can go back to this really nice tile. There it is, three error score, and we got our campus. Let's see what this campus is actually going to be. A plus two. Ooh, that's, I mean, we're going to have to go with it. We're going to have to deal with it. Let's just buy this tile, and I want to actually, instead of building this stuff, let's get this builder first, and then go for our campus. Plus four. Oh, man. I've never done that so fast in my life. <laughs> we don't need a monument. Let's go for that sweet science. 
There we go. We got our pantheon. Let's just deal with these barbarians first. Come on, religious settlements. Okay, okay they still have goddess of the hunt. Hmm, that would be pretty good. Three food, three production, two gold from these two camps. It, there it is. It's it's still available. Awesome. Hatusa, are we the first one there? Yes. Oh, yeah. Science. Uh, get more science. What do they have? Plus two of each. Oh, that's a good one. That is a good one. We can just find our... We can discover oil. We don't need to improve it. And then we get two of it every turn. Okay. We can sell our pearls. Seven gold per turn to the Roman Empire for some pearls. We do definitely do not need the luxuries right now. We're still like plus one of many of these in a lot of our cities because they are so small. So we're just going to sell them to get the additional gold per turn. Oh no, they tricked us. They tricked us. They're running away, but it's a trap. Oh, sneaky barbarians. Okay, there's their encamp. Oh. Whoa. Ho, 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 ho. There must be another civilization around here that the scout kind of discovered. Oh my goodness. You have no idea what I just figured out. This, this is going to be, oh crap. Okay, thankfully our, okay. I think we're going to run away with this unit. But look at this. We can still get Temple of Artemis. You know where we can place that? Once we improve this, we can place it right there. Okay, let's read this. Each plantation, one of the four towers of this wonder provides plus one amenity. Let's see here. Oh, he's camp too, so it'll be a plus one. Okay, wait, one, two, three, another one. Four, another one. That's three. I have, I have three fingers also. I didn't lose count. No, no. One, two, three, four. That's another one. One, two, three, four. That's another one. That's five. Six. One, two, three, six amenities. That is crazy. We have to 100% go for this. Oh, we have to go for this. Here it is. Our third city founding it close to the Roman Empire, which may or may not be a mistake in the future. Okay, we're going to move our worker up here. Let's harvest. Yeah, harvest that resource. Five population now. That's what I like to see. Okay, let's actually place this campus up here because it's definitely going there in the future. Okay, next thing, keep, keep doing this granary so we can grow in population in eight more turns and it'll help with Temple of Artemis. And then go for bronze working. Let's hopefully find some iron around here. 395 combat strength already? Okay, the reason I did that, because I know I can, I'm can i able to get basically this worker back. Because we can definitely move any unit to our cities, and it only takes one move, so we can definitely attack with our archer. And then scale it with the warrior. Got it back. Easy peasy. Our first tribal village. Oh, finally. And another one? Okay, it's way up there, though. Let's see what this barbarian does. Ooh, they attacked our unit. That is interesting. I did not think they would... I figured they would go for the builder, but... I guess they can attack our unit. I'm fine with that. Can we kill it? We cannot. Let's just move this... Oh, they're probably going to capture it 100% then. Hmm. I really want to get this temple going, though. Oh, do we want to risk it? Hopefully four, five, six... Oh, yeah, we can get a lot more points going for the science boost. So let's definitely do this dedication. It was luxuries like air condition. State workforce. Okay. We have to go right for state workforce. Oh, we get a governor. Oh yeah. Yeah. Let's chop some of this stuff. Let's chop this, some of this stuff and get our wonder. Here's our first tribal village. Let's actually, let's get a good look at this thing. Let's get rid of the yield icons. I'm going to keep the resource icons on this because we can kind of see where everything is. But let's see. Let's ho okay, I would... What am I on a relic? Or a free builder? A free builder. Astrology? Come on. Okay, can we get rid of this? Oh, we got rid of the barbarian unit. It is about time. Looks like another slinger's coming from our south. Man, just unit after unit everywhere around here. Repair that thing, temple. Temple. Okay, we wanted it right here. That's what we wanted it right here. Okay, let's change this one. Let's go for. We need. We're actually building some range units because I'm a little scared that Rome might come across the 
small little, you know, ocean, little sea there and attack us. We're going to keep with urban planning because we definitely want to get as much production as possible. And now that we have Magnus Winnether Capital, let's just chop these forests. 28, is that it? Is that it? Is it worth it to chop it? Three turns. We will take three turns. Whoa, they have barbarians have swordsmen now. Okay, we'll attack it once, and then we're at 100% just running away. The reason I attacked it here is because it would take three movement points for this swordsman to get in this jungle, but they don't have that. Okay, now we run away and still attack this thing. I think I think we can do this. We can back up one tile. It's still going to be able to attack us. Let's see how much damage it does to us. Whoa. Tornado family. No, what is going on? Oh, wait, we got that. Yes. Okay, let's see. They didn't attack us. Did they run away? Literally, wait, where? They must have ran right there because they can move two tiles and we can't see them anymore. Okay, let's see. Four turns. Is it even worth it to change our policies anymore? So in four turns, we can get military tradition and we can unlock our policy slot anyways. So let's see if it actually does make a difference instead of the one planning the 15%. And then we'll keep our, right here, keep our 50% production towards range units. Okay, it took a turn off. Yeah, we'll take that. What? Oh, that's a quadream. Goodness. Oh, do we have a governor? Oh, can we promote? Yes, let's do provision. I want provision because after this, we are building a ton of settlers with our capital. Come on, get it, get it, get it. When I saw oh, the yes. House of Artists, yes, we got it. Okay, that is so good. Plus one amenities right away. We only have two, basically, things right now. Okay, let's do that and then that and then... Yeah, can't finish our campus, get the production. Then we're going for settler after settler after settler. And we'll change in one turn. Okay, we'll just do it right now. Okay, we've got our archer. Ooh, I don't know what I want to build here. Campus? A plus three campus next to the volcano that's active? Hmm. <laughs> let's go for a trader here. But I think that was a good episode, this first episode. Okay, we got the temple. We need to plan the next one. We're going to plan some city over here. I don't know exactly where. A city over here, a city over here. We'll just fall in a city in the Mojave Desert. A city down here by all the horses and cattle and turtles. You know how much I love turtles. <laughs> all right. Thanks for watching.